Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Kent for Monday, March 29th, 2021. Brought to you by the great people at Today's Dentistry, Dr. Mike O'Neill. Simply the best dentist that there is. Call him, 317-849-2933. He's going to help you live a better life through improved dental health. Take control of your dental health. Like I said, 317-849-2933. Let's talk about sports. Indiana basketball yesterday, we found out that they were hiring Mike Woodson, assistant coach of the New York Knicks, as the next head basketball coach. National media, very, very negative about this hire. Purdue fans, very, very positive about this hire. They're celebrating this hire. I can't think of two better reasons to celebrate the fact that Mike Woodson is going to be the next head coach of the Hoosiers than those two things. Um, Mike Woodson is a really good basketball coach who at the Atlanta Hawks started down here each season. That team got better. He was there for six years. In the end, they won 53 games. They took a, a, a step forward, big step forward each and every year. With the New York Knicks, they won 54 games. They haven't been to the playoffs since he was the head coach. That tells you something about Mike Woodson. Coming to Indiana, he's a 1980 Indiana graduate. He was a Big Ten Player of the Year while at Indiana. He scored better than 2,000 points. A silky, smooth player, score, tough guy, and a, a guy who is going to reinstill accountability within the Indiana basketball program for players. He met with the players last night. Are they going to return those guys, those six, who have put their names in the transfer portal? I don't know, but I don't think you get better than Mike Woodson as a guy who's been in the NBA a long time, all the way back to 1980. A, a, a guy who knows how to get there, who knows how to stay there, who knows how to put together a game in a way that is going to appeal to NBA coaches, scouts, general managers. I think that Mike Woodson is a guy that you really want to trust, develop your game to that level that you could get paid to play in the NBA. I think Woodson is a home run hire, and if you didn't think so because he's never been a part of college basketball, Scott Dolson, the athletic director, did something else yesterday. He hired Thad Mata as the associate athletic director for men's basketball. So Thad Mata is going to fill the holes that people would worry about, correctly perhaps, that Mike Woodson does not have filled because he's been in professional basketball for the last 31 years and not college basketball, 41 years. College basketball is unique in a lot of ways. And you, you've got to deal with compliance. You've got to deal with scheduling. You've got to deal with recruiting. You've got to deal with a whole bunch of things that just don't exist in the NBA. That Mata is really going to help from a basketball perspective and from a, an organizational perspective as Mike Woodson transitions from being a professional basketball coach to a professional basketball coach who is coaching in college. And uh, I, I couldn't be happier. I think it's terrific. The, the Indiana alumni, very, very happy that Mike Woodson's coming back to Bloomington. Broad Ripple graduate, Indianapolis native, uh, Indiana graduate, coming back to figure out how to put this thing back together in the correct way for the first time in 18 years. That's what, that's what Indiana's got. A guy who's invested in Indiana University, who understands Indiana University, who's going to look at Assembly Hall as something a little bit more than a place where he works. And that is what has been needed at Indiana for a long time. He's got credibility within Indiana. Thad Monick, credibility in Ohio. I think this makes all kinds of sense. I'm excited about it. And, and it's not necessarily about Mike Woodson, although it is about Mike Woodson, but one of the reasons I'm excited is that this was different. This isn't hiring the hot coach. This isn't, hey, Thad Mata, we got to go get him. We got to go get Chris Beard. We got to go get Nate Oates. We got to go get Eric Musselman. We got to go get somebody who's a good fit somewhere else. It's not that. It's, hey, we got to go get our guy to come to Indiana University, coach basketball, and get this thing back on the rails. That's what this is. That's why I'm excited about it. I think Scott Dolson did a really, really good job and made, a, I mean, you got to have some big stones to make a hire like this because they could go wobbly in a whole bunch of different ways. 
and it's not going to be applauded by those national media pundits that, that people listen to for whatever reason. So this is not Samson. It's not Crean. It's not Miller. Nothing wrong with those guys. But they weren't fits in Indiana. And at Indiana, Mike Woodson, he's a fit. Um, yeah, I think it's... And, and so we got to figure out. Now we got to figure out who's going to be on the team, right? And then we got to figure out who's going to be on the staff. And I keep getting asked, who's going to be on the staff? I don't know. Is Mike Woodson going to bring in guys that he trusts? Is he going to bring in a staff with Indiana ties? Is he going to bring in a staff of people that he's worked with in the past in the NBA? I don't know. I think you've got to surround yourself with brothers that you want, and, and I'm not speaking racially, but brothers that you can link arms with and go to war, whether it's in recruiting, whether it's in compliance, whether it's in academics, whether it's on the basketball court. you got to be with people that you trust and know and feel really, really good about. We'll see who those guys are with Mike Woods and whether it's got some Indiana flavor to it or not. We'll see. I hope that it does. I'd love to see Michael Lewis come home, but he's still working, right? Because UCLA is in the Elite Eight. What are you going to do? How about this? Seven teams out of the eight in the Elite Eight are from schools west of the Mississippi River. That I remember times when, like the entire Elite Eight, all east, and, and we were very proud saying that the basketball they play out west sucks. They're terrible. They're not good. UCLA, USC, Oregon State, uh, Arkansas, Baylor, Gonzaga, right? All at Houston, all west of the Mississippi, only Michigan, east of the Mississippi. Michigan is going to play UCLA. How about that for some college basketball sort of, you know, uh, royalty playing in the Elite Eight? That'll be Tuesday night, USC, Gonzaga, Tuesday night as well. Tonight, you've got 12 seeded Oregon State and Houston at 7 15. I have no interest in Oregon State basketball, but I'm rooting like hell for them because I always root against Kelvin Sampson. And then late tonight at 9.57, good heavens, uh, number three, Arkansas playing against Baylor. I'm rooting for Arkansas because of Justin Smith. I'd love to see Justin Smith get to the Final Four. That'd be terrific. Um, in the NBA, Pacers playing tonight against Washington. Of course, we got to keep an eye on that game. Uh, they're kind of, I think, getting it going, right? You got Karis LeVert and Malcolm Brogdon. And uh, still, Justin, Hugh, uh, uh, Justin Holiday playing really well, and Domas, Miles, those guys. And uh, we'll see how that goes tonight. I'm, I'm much more kind of tied in. Good morning, uh, John. How are you? I'm much more interested in the college basketball thing tonight, and I, I think that that's been motivated and prompted by the Indiana search, which has finally come to an end. Not two weeks. You know what? I said on Friday... Because I was getting a little bit skittish about this thing. I said, I think we find out this weekend. And sure enough, yesterday the news broke. And all of a sudden, you know what? Indiana fans got very happy about this, most of them. And fans outside of Indiana were either happy about it because they thought Indiana made a mistake. Or they were unhappy about it because they just don't understand Mike Woodson being hired. And those are the guys who are transactional journalists They've got coaching friends, you know, in college. And this is hiring somebody from outside that fraternity, somebody with whom they have no relationship. And so it makes their job a little bit harder. I think that's what all their consternation is about. Let's celebrate some birthdays, shall we? Some of them, some of the national pundits you listen to. Some of the national pundits, and you know who they are, you completely dismiss because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Uh, Deanna Riley, at least where it concerns Indiana basketball, right? We know Indiana basketball. We understand Indiana basketball. For some reason, people outside that sphere do not understand Indiana basketball. And I've talked to these people at length about Indiana basketball. And no matter how long I talk to them, they still don't get it. They think I'm the nut. <laughs> what? All right. Uh, Deanna Riley, happy birthday. Renee, uh, Renee Va Matthew, happy birthday. Stephen Mangis, the great Jack Samasco, happy birthday. Bryce McKean, uh, De the great Dion Roeder, celebrating a birthday. Ben Maddox, Ted Cooper, and Henry Wren, happy birthday. If today's your birthday, you celebrate like hell. If it's not your birthday, you celebrate somebody else. 
that's best done with an honest and specific compliment. It's a happy day to be a Hoosier. There will be a Zoom press conference at 10 o'clock. Part of that, the good part, you'll hear on Inside Indiana Sports Today. Subscribe to YouTube if you want to get the you know alert as soon as it comes available. Absolutely do that. Like, ring the bell, do all of that stuff. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. We'll be back and we'll talk to you probably 3, uh, 3.30 this afternoon with some of that press conference. We'll hear from Mike Woodson. We'll hear from Scott Dolson. Dolson, I'm sure, is really, really happy to have this thing done, wrapped up behind him, concluded in a really good way. Mike Woodson, the new head coach. Thad Mata, there to help. Nice. I, I think that, that that checks a lot of boxes, does it not? I think it does. Um, we'll talk to you a little bit later today. Have a good one.